Hello from BI Consulting Services. Today we'll be creating a simple website in Microsoft Power Pages. Hover over Starter Layouts 1 and select Choose this template. Name the website XYZ and then select Done. Now that our template is loaded, hover over the website header and select Edit Site Header. We'll now insert a company logo by selecting Upload Image and inserting the image of our logo. We'll also delete the site title because it's already in our logo. If we scroll down the page, you'll notice a text box where we can add a welcome message. I'll copy and paste a welcome message that I made for this video. The welcome message takes up a little too much space, so I'll break it up by cutting and pasting everything after the colon into a subtitle. After cutting what I want, I'll select the plus button and then select text. Next, I'll paste the text and remove the colon and the space. Below the welcome message, you'll notice an orange button. We'll use this to direct the customer to the consultation page. I'll click on the button, select edit, and change the label to schedule a consultation. We'll also change the button's link to subpage one. To allow the customers to schedule a consultation, we'll need to set up the data. Click on the Data tab on the left-hand side of the screen. Once there, click on Table and select New Table. Once the table is made, we'll select New Column, make the display name Email, the data type Likewise, and we'll make this business required. I did likewise for a few new columns, phone number, requested date slash time for consultation, and what the customer would like to discuss. After creating the columns, click on Pages, and under the Pages tab, select Schedule a Consultation. We'll change the title from Subpage 1 to Schedule a Consultation. After doing that, we'll select and delete the subtitle below it. Now we'll select the plus button underneath our title and select Form. Once we've done that, select New Form. Under Choose a Table, we'll type in and select Consultations. Under Select a Form, we'll select Information. It appears that all the fields have shown up for me. If they didn't, we could select our form, click on Edit Fields, and once this loads, we can click on Add Field and select any which one we would like. Let's change the permissions so that anyone on our website can use the form. Click on Permissions and then select New Table Permission. We'll click Create under Permission To and Everything under Add Roles. And lastly, we'll click Save. Now when we click Preview and select Desktop, we can enter in some data to make sure that our new form works. If we click on the Data tab and click on Consultations, we can see that the data was successfully submitted. On the Home tab, I've deleted a lot of the unneeded sections and spacers. I've kept only one section to present XYZ's contact information. I'll title this section Contact Information. We'll add a new text box to insert the contact information. On the About Us page, I've created text boxes for the headings such as About Us and Our Vision and inserted text boxes below them to detail each section. We can click the Preview button to view how our website looks on a desktop view 
Thank you for watching from BI Consulting Services.